after three of W situation, <laughs> I was at the bottom. I had to start at the bottom and work my way back up. 3LW was one of the most successful girl groups of the 2000s, but their success was cut short after just two years. They went from being one of the best-selling girl groups in the world to the group falling apart after one of the members, Notori Naughton, exposed them and the management for being racist and violent towards her. Notori was put through several uncomfortable situations before eventually getting kicked out with no money to her name. And even even after so many years, she still holds a grudge to how she was treated and how her career never recovered. So what really happened? Let's break it down. Part of the group, you know, was definitely something I was proud of. And um, you left the group. Right. Yeah. 3LW was very popular in the early 2000s for their super smash hits like No More and Players Gonna Play, as well as the incredible talents and diversity of the members, Adrian Balin, Notori Naughton, and Kylie Williams. Three, two, one. I'm Adrian. I'm Keely. And I'm Naturi. And we're 3LW. 3LW was formed in 1999 by Michelle Williams. Michelle was Kylie's older sister, who was also her guardian. See, Kylie lost her mother a few months after she was born. So Michelle stepped up and filed to be legal guardian of Kylie. And as for Naturi, she was raised in New Jersey, while Adrian was born and raised in New York. 3LW had a lot of success right from their Jump. Their self-titled album went platinum in the U.S. for selling over 1.3 million copies. However, the good days for the trio quickly came crashing down after rumors started going around about Notori and Kylie not getting along. Wow, you said you had to learn to, to get together with each other. Was that hard? Yeah, it was a little difficult. It was a challenge. Gilly might know about that one. Yeah, let us know a little bit about that. Well, it was just Naturi and I, you know, we had some conflicts. <laughs> we just didn't get along very well. Why not? What kind of issues were you dealing with? She doesn't understand me. Naturi uh -oh. just won't listen. <laughs> That's what it is. Nah, actually, the funny thing is, we just, we always just, <laughs> Adrian's like, and you know what? No. Nah, actually. Okay, we'll let you explain it. I think what happens in our situation is that we're so different from one another. Everybody comes from different areas and we're raised very differently from one another. So when we first got together, everybody had different opinions and a different way of looking at things. And we kind of had to formulate something that would fit all of us, which we, and musically, we definitely took pieces that we loved from one another, blended that, and we started to start blending our personalities as well, learning from each other and learning that it's cool to be different from one each other. You just learn to love each other and learn, your, learn things from your differences. And, love each other no matter what. Gotta keep the peace. Gotta keep right. the peace. Yeah. The drama actually started affecting the commercial success of the group. Unlike now when rappers and singers can basically trash talk each other in their songs. Back in the 90s, if you were a young girl group, your success depended a lot on your image. Like one wrong move and your career could be over. Anyways, the drama surrounding this alleged feud got so bad that the second album, A Girl Can Mac, was put on hold since the label was scared it was going to be a massive flop. The tension between Natori and Kylie soon turned violent after Kylie threw a plate of hot food on Natori's face. According to Natori, she and Kylie had always had a rocky relationship and occasional fights here and there. But the breaking point for her was when Kylie became violent and threw a plate of hot food on her face after both of them had a really nasty altercation. Natori went into details about the food fight and all the issues she had with their manager, Michelle, during an interview with MTV. She said, There was an argument between me and Michelle, Kylie, and Adrian. They are cursing me out, and before I know it, Kylie throws her plate of food all in my face. Mashed potatoes, macaroni, all in my hair, down my clothes, messing up my hair, dude. Nobody has the right to hit me. That's not what I'm here 
fear for, to be physically abused? Notori also told MTV that the tension within the group had a lot to do with their manager, Michelle. See, as I told you earlier on, Michelle was the sister and legal guardian of Kylie. Well, according to Notori, Michelle often favored Kylie and wanted her to be the lead of the group and would often pit her against the other girls in the group, especially Notori. For a long time, the girls of 3LW were tight. That wasn't the problem, she said. It was a push by management who always had something about Notori. The other members of the group, especially Kylie, got a lot of backlash for treating Notori so horribly. Kylie ended up addressing the claims made by Notori that Michelle treated her better than the rest of them. Those who know us know that she would not hesitate to check me when needed. But despite all the drama, Notori was willing to put everything aside and join the group to promote their second album, which was going to be released later. However, Michelle didn't want Notori part of the group anymore and kicked her out. But it gets worse, y'all. She told Notori to lie to the public by telling them she was leaving the group because she was going to college. Notori was obviously not down with this and refused to lie to the fans. Their second album was eventually released, but the numbers were awful. Only selling 53,000 copies in the first week, Notori later made an appearance on Wendy Williams Experience radio show to spill all the tea about what was really going on. And child, mm, did she expose them. 3LW, I would never leave 3LW, and I'm here to see a guy named Enso on our website. Okay. I'm the moderator. Okay. okay holds it down and basically she said hey you need to tell Chris his name is Chris what's going on in the website you need to tell him what's really going on with the other I said okay you want me to tell him stories so I grabbed the phone and I said all right well basically they're trying to terminate me from the group immediately Michelle snatches the phone and says no Natura you're ridiculous why are you telling him that is that what you know you're supposed to tell him I said I thought she wanted me to tell the truth, but obviously they're trying to switch it around to protect the 3LW image. Right. So she got upset at me. We're arguing. She's saying, you know what you said. I said, what did I say wrong, Michelle? Notori also talked about the colorism she experienced during her time in 3LW. According to Notori, their label sat them down and told them they wanted to put Adrian and Kylie at the center of the group, while Notori was put in the back because they were lighter skinned with the white baby hair and she was the dark skin girl. At any given point was skin complexion brought up dealing with you three L's? And I was, yeah, I was thinking about this. Um, when I got home, I was thinking a lot of people have been asking me, you know, why are they trying to kick the dark skin girl out the group? And I thought back to when I was 15 years old, about three years ago, okay. management and um, our production company sat us down and basically told us how we have to put Adrian, the Puerto Rican girl, more up front and the J Lo thing is in right now. And they basically explain how there's a Puerto Rican fad okay. and that she had to be more up front. And I'm thinking, oh my, like I'm 15, I'm just trying to sing. That's all I really want to do. Okay. And I didn't think that my skin color should really matter, but they Aww. basically just told me that, well, you know, nobody's really checking for, you know, the brown skin girl to be up front. J Lo and the Puerto Rican thing Aww. is what's in right now. The girls were dragged to filth after this interview and accused of mistreating Notori. And after all the bad press, Adrian and Kylie went on a press run, y'all, to do damage control. They denied all Notori's claims about the food fight and basically called her a liar. They also said the only reason why she was brought into the group was because she was dark skinned. So her claims about them kicking her out because of her skin color it didn't make any sense. Child, if they really thought saying that was gonna solve it, like saying that she was brought in because she was dark skinned and not because of her talent, okay, it's just bad, y'all. So listen, I wanna get right to this because obviously there's a lot going on with you guys and uh, Notori is no longer a part of 3LW. And uh, I just wanna run through all the stories that we've been hearing about you guys and I wanna, I wanna hear your side of everything, all right? Um, one is that Notori uh, stated that while she was arguing with your mom, who's also your manager, um, that, that you threw a hot plate of Kentucky Fried Chicken in her face? We feel silly even defending myself against a two-piece. It, it sounds crazy, crazy to us. Like, it, you know. it really sounds crazy. Well, first of all, she was not arguing with my mom. She was arguing, arguing with Adrian. Okay. 
So, you know, I think I think a lot of stories have gotten a little, you know, very mixed up. You know, we were in an argument basically about, you know, the rumors that have been flying around that, you know, Kaylee, that Naturi was getting kicked out of the group or that she was leaving or whatever it was. And basically, you know, she it was like she got on the phone with somebody who, you know, is the board moderator and was just like, yeah, they are kicking me out. The two light skinned girls are kicking me out. And I was like, light skinned girls? I was like, you, I, you've always called me Adrian. I never knew that was like, you know, like, whoa. And I was, that obviously got me mad. And we started arguing there, which wasn't that uh, normal for us, you know? Like any, you know, teenagers, we argue. And the food was actually hit. It was a plate of food that was hit by Keely's three year old sister. So to turn that back and that it was physical assault, you know, kind of shocked us and it was, it's a serious accusation so yeah. I think it's definitely hurt us more than anything. But we just, you know, like to it clear up the happen. record, yeah, that did didn't happen. She was never physically abused. She no. was never verbally abused. I mean, just it to is, say any of that and, and to bring in color and to say that, you know, that she was kicked out of the group because she was the dark skinned girl. It's crazy. She was brought into the group because she was the dark skinned girl. You know, right. definitely. That's what we it, wanted. That's what we wanted. Crazy. That was the look of 3 w to definitely the group touch was all girls of color that, you know, we that wanted. I was a Latina, you know, she was going to be that brown skinned beauty. Exactly. You know, it was, it was for that. That it was, was the purpose was so of the group. so that every girl of color could look at them and say. And just a couple of months after this whole drama, 3LW pushed out their third album, Naughty or Nice, which only featured vocals from Adrian and Kylie. The album was a massive flop on the charts and made zero impact. Then there was the rumors of the group looking for a third member, but they denied it and said they were now operating as a duo. Definitely. Wow. You know, you guys, there's a lot of rumors going around about the group and everything. We want to know what's going on. Are you guys looking for a new member? What's up? You know what, right now we're definitely staying as a duo going forth and continue to promote the album. But you know, hey, y'all get looking, doing know. your thing out there, you never know. You, you never be looking. know. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. But they later held auditions all over America to find the perfect person to fit into Notori's role before finally landing on Jessica Benson. But Jessica was also quickly kicked to the curb when Adrian and Kylie ditched the group to join the Cheetah Girls franchise alongside Raven Simone and Sabrina Ryan. The franchise was a huge success with the first movie raking in a whopping 84 million viewers. They recorded a bunch of successful multi-platinum albums, made two more movies, and went on a world tour that put in $48 million in revenue. But get this, there was drama even here. So much so that Raven left the group after the second movie. And guess what y'all? According to the reports, Kylie was the one who was always starting some mess. Raven went live on Instagram after years of dropping some tea, saying, uh, the clickish ways they were doing the movie made me feel excluded from my original team. After they wrapped up the filming of The Cheetah Girls, Adrian and Kylie went their separate ways and lost contact. As for Notori, she went flat broke and had to start from scratch all over again. She enrolled herself in college and started to audition for a bunch of movies while also starring in Broadway shows. You mentioned, I think, in, a, in another interview that you were broke after you left 3LW. Yeah, job. After 3LW situation, I was at the bottom. I had to start at the bottom and work my way back up. I went to college, I went to Seton Hall University and you know, had to get student loans and I had a, a scholarship actually. She finally got her big break when she posted the role of Little Kim in the Little Kim biopic. She later landed her biggest role yet in the star's original TV show, Power. Adrian became the co-host of the Emmy-winning daytime show, The Real, until it was canceled in 2022. Back in 2017, Notori had a heartfelt conversation about what happened in the group during which Adrian apologized to Notori for treating her so badly. At this point, everyone was convinced that any feud the girls had towards each other was squashed for good. But that was until Kylie threw major shade at Adrian by calling her a fake friend after a fan asked her if she would be down to have an open conversation with Adrian on The Real. I don't think Adrian wants to have live TV with me. 
Kylie admitted. She's going to say, yes, Kylie, I did pretend to be your best friend and now I'm not. It's like you were either lying then or you're lying now. You either were my best friend and now you're not claiming me or you were pretending to be my best friend and now you're telling the truth. So that's why I think uh, that's not going to happen. At this point, it became clear to everyone that Kylie was the problem all along. And they wasted no time calling her out for being a bully to Notori. This person said, Kylie wanted to be the star of the group, but Adrian and Notori were the stars of the group. Kylie got her karma. Adrian and Notori are winning. Another person also jumped in and said, Notori to me was the prettiest one out of the group. She also seemed real genuine and carries herself in a classy way and still does. She is winning with the movies, shows, and hosting gigs. All goes to show that you can still rise through the fire. But now I want to know your thoughts. How do you feel about Notori exposing the management and the other members of 3LW for sabotaging and leaving her broke? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to click here and watch this other messy video.